What's up, guys? My name is Champ. Uh, we're here with The Taste of UAB, just showing you guys a couple of the artists that we have lined up for you. Uh, I'm also here with my good friend, Troublemaker, aka Trevor. And we are here with Josh. Yeah. Josh, all right. Yeah. Um, tell me about yourself, Josh. What's good? Uh, I'm a junior here at UAB, majoring in biology and minoring in chemistry. Then I'm going to dental school. I don't like biology or chemistry, but that's what they said I needed to take. So. I'm glad you flashed your teeth after that. Because I needed to see them. You said yeah. biology and chemistry? Well, well minoring in chemistry. Oh, so. oh, oh, still. Kind of. <laughs> like, yeah. Look, man, hey, be excellent. I'm proud of you. More power Appreciate to it, you. Yeah, never, it. Never, never, never stop. And what about you, man? You want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Dustin, and I'm a junior here at UAB, a BMD major, trying to go to PA school. So how did y'all meet? Did y'all meet on campus? <laughs> That's a good story. Do you want to tell it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so me and Dustin both have a little problem called uh, punctuality. And uh, we were both running to our Jin Kim cl 2 class together. Like running. Like running. Like physically running. <laughs> and cause I think it was a test that day. It was a test that day. It was a test that day. But we met that day. And then another day, we just met one of the common rooms. He was reading his Bible. And I was like, hey, bro, what you reading? He was like, oh, I'm reading the book of Acts. So we had a whole conversation about biblical things. And then we ended up taking more class together, yeah. just trying to survive organic chemistry. And you know, just came good we'll friends. We'll so let's get into musical influences. Can y'all tell me who y'all were inspired by? What y'all grew up listening to, stuff like that? Mm -hmm. um, musically, I started playing guitar at a young age, and then I got, I stopped playing for years, and I started playing at my church's youth group. And that was pretty cool. It's like modern worship music, so it mimics kind of like modern pop music. Um, and then also a lot of singer songwriter like Jack Johnson, John Mayer. Phenomenal. So that's where I'm at. John Mary has so much sauce. Yes. Yeah. Well, I grew up in a family where everybody sings and, you know, singing in church and just that whole atmosphere was what really just inevitably made me want to sing all the time. And uh, one of my biggest musical influences is a guy named Kristen Gray. He's an R&B singer. And just listening to his songs, they have a lot of, he's a Christian art, Christian R&B artist. And, his songs just have a lot of genuine life lessons in them that everyone can take home. And, you know, it just helps. Listening to them helped me improve my voice. And growing up in family with singers, if you get off key, they'll tell you really quick. So <laughs> You mentioned both your religious backgrounds. Is that the inspiration behind the lyrics to it? Absolutely. Okay. Um, God is the reason that I have the gift that I've been given, and I just want to be able to use it to spread His word and you know, put real music out that people can take home a lesson from that that isn't just about, you know, sex, drugs, the common things that sell a lot. Even if it doesn't sell, I want to put out something genuine that I believe in. You said that you were very gifted musically and you learned how to play a song that he already released. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that you, you learn you know how to play by ear that Yeah, I mean pretty much I can guitar is the main thing. I've done piano in the past and then so it's basically like I guess in order, it's like guitar, singing, piano, and like that. So we just played, played around with it a lot and just figured out the chords. And it's really interesting because if you listen to the song on Spotify, it's definitely not, like it's not acoustic at all. I don't even think there's a guitar in the song. Mm -hmm. But so I kind of enjoy um, listening to covers of songs, like really produced yeah. songs and then stripped down with like a piano and a guitar. So both of y'all are majors that are pretty like intense. Mm -hmm. Like, just actually intense. Like, man, I know I know some people that just made it out of here from some of those majors, but yeah. uh, how did your parents take you uh, doing music? I know for you it might have been different because you sang in the choir or mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, I know my, my parents weren't extremely excited to see, you know, what it was that I wanted to do at school. Mm -hmm. So, um... Well, um, I think, honestly, they, they were very supportive of it because Everyone needs some form of an outlet, and I did a study on this for an English project one time that doing art and some form of a creative activity lowers cortisol levels in your body, which build up a lot when you get a lot of stress, which causes things like health problems, like just bad things from stress. Yeah, man. And the just doing something that involves like your creative outlet yeah. will really help you in a lot of ways. Yeah. Stress is like a disease almost. They kind of treat it yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, um, but so I can, I can totally get that. Uh, what about you? Um, 
So I definitely came in knowing I was going to do medical. And I've been doing, like I said, I did music all throughout high school and along with that um, video work. And then recently I've been able to, my mom's a businesswoman and my family's like super supportive of me, but if I'm doing something dumb, they're not going to support me. So it was really awesome. Recently I've been able to like actually make money from one of my creative outlets. And I feel like that's a big thing that I could like, not have to prove myself to my family, but like, hey, this is a thing, you know, like people can do this now. Yeah. My thing is like, I'm gonna play guitar, make music and make videos either way, like whether I'm getting paid or not. Right. But if I can get paid and be able to do it even more, yeah. you know, like that's what I wanna do. This whole thing started from ministry at my church. One thing we do push at my church is passion-based ministry. Whatever you do, have a passion for, for the kingdom of God, do it to the best of your ability. So uh, my manager, Ray, he used to be a Christian rapper for a while. He was doing really well, but he pulled out of it because he realized that, like, he saw success, but he was wondering, would he really keep himself in that industry? Because in the music industry, there's a lot of dark places that you, you have to see if you're really willing to go there. Mm -hmm. And he pulled out of it for a while. He wrote an album, and it was called 24. So it had 20 singing songs on it, but he was like, well, I know I can't sing. And he prayed about it, and God gave him the vision to start this group in my church, where it's me and one other artist. And he he's just so good at like helping us link up and get opportunities in different studios. Mm -hmm. um, he, we I even have a tour coming up soon. It's um Come up Yeah. It's a <laughs> it's a three day tour called the Lights Tour. If you type in the Lights Tour on Instagram, you can find all the details on that page. You mentioned Spotify. Where can we find your music? Well um, you can find it on literally everything except SoundCloud. If you just type in Josh Holsey, H-O-L-S-E-Y, it'll come up. Give it a like, support. Just I'm just here to minister, so I want to get the message out. One thing I thought that was super cool, this is kind of off topic, but Feel free. Um, Josh is a very good um, marketer. Uh -huh. So when his song came out, you know, we'll be in the library till <laughs> times that we don't want to talk about. All the time. But uh, he's like, hey man, you heard. So like, obviously UAB is super diverse. Uh -huh. Not everyone's going to be the same religion around here, but I've heard people from every religion tell Josh, be like, dude, your song is like, it's so right. good. Like, no, you know, yeah. so I thought that was super cool how it was really, um, mm -hmm. it was received very well. Yeah. Oh, that's the diversity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's one of my favorite things about, I feel like this is the only place in Alabama that you can come for this much yeah. like diversity. And I'm glad I'm here yeah. for that. I put all of my stuff on YouTube, whether it's uh, video work, uh, short films or music. I put that up there too. So you can just YouTube Dustin. Harrelson, H-A-R-E-L-S-O-N. It's really good. Did I spell my name wrong? H-A-R-R-E-L-S-O-N, <laughs> two R's, I spell my name wrong. There we go, there we go. Make sure you guys turn the notification bell. Yes, because don't it doesn't. Hit that subscribe button. Don't just, hey, don't smash subscribe. that subscribe button. Yeah, don't, just, don't just press the subscribe button and walk away, Put the, press the little bell icon. So Share it to your Facebook wall. Oh, Do it. Yeah. Taste the UAB, August 31st, be there.